Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back. It's me, your boy, the man, NJ, number two, the city, with the number two in TL. Let's go with this mock draft. This NFL mock draft for 2018 <clears throat> draft. Now, I'm over here watching Colin Cowherd on his Cowherd, by the way. Colin Cowherd, um, C-O-W-H-E-R-D. He's a sportscaster for anyone who does not know him whatsoever. He's on FS1 um, pretty much every weekday. Uh, towards um, right, he's his show is right after um, Undisputed with Skip and Shannon on FS1. Just let everybody who did not know that know that now. So I guess if you know you go to school, and you want to you know record record his show and watch when you come home. You totally can. And he also is on the show titled Speak for Yourself with um, a few other get guest appearances from time to time. Um, so yeah. Um, but I'm over here watching his video he did on um, 2018 Mock Draft 2.0. Um, I do not. I've done already two or three episodes on mock drafts, but I guess let me try to get a tad further deeper into my mock draft. The Browns. It makes every bit of sense for the Browns to draft Sam Darnold or Josh Rosen or even Saquon Barkley. So, to set my opinion in stone, the surefire safest pick in this draft for the um, Browns, number one overall, the surefire safest pick, I would say, is Saquon Barkley, the running back. I feel like that's the surefire safest pick because, as I said before, you have too many quarterbacks, too many talented quarterbacks in this year's draft to go ahead and think that you have to get it one or even two. You don't have to. You literally don't. You Again, Mr. Kyle Laletta, he didn't get... The Senior Bowl MVP for no good reason. So I'm pretty sure Kyle Aletta will be the steal of this year's draft. So again, the Browns, um, they're probably never going to watch this video. But definitely anybody want to tweet at them saying, hey, might want to consider Kyle Aletta. You know, or that Troy quarterback or Tanner Lee from Nebraska, like I said before. this, Or even Quentin Flowers. Quentin Flowers is the USF quarterback. Who's coming? Who's coming out this year? Who I think he has the fastest forty time out of all the quarterbacks, or even again a guy like Lamar Jackson. The point is, you know, and I can't tell you how many quarterback needy teams are in this draft because I don't feel like there's as many quarterback needy teams as there should be. But there's definitely guys that are gonna if they don't go in the first three rounds, they're definitely going in the fourth round, fifth round. A lot of talented quarterbacks. So I can definitely assure you this is going to be a really really good draft to see where these quarterbacks go. Obviously, the teams like the not Browns, but the Bills are going to draft a quarterback too. It just also depends on who is it going to be. And like I said before, like I mean, again, love Nathan Peterman. He's my guy. He's the one I'm rooting for over there with the Bills. But I can assure you, the Bills are probably going to draft somebody else as well to compete with him and compete with Tyrod Taylor. It just depends on who the, who they're going to draft. And I have a good chance, or I have a good hunch, they're definitely. I wouldn't say they're going to draft Lamar Jackson like everybody keeps thinking they're going to draft Lamar Jackson. But they're definitely going to draft somebody, I can assure you that. And it's not that Tyrod Taylor isn't good. Tyrod Taylor is good. He didn't get the nickname T-Mobile for nothing. He didn't get that six-year contract that he obviously eventually reworked into a, you know, think three- or four-year contract. He didn't get that extension for no good reason. So he got that extension because he is talented. He can win, win quite a few ball games for the Buffalo Bills. But, the you know, the... the he could put him in task is getting to the playoffs and getting deep into the playoffs and being a real competitor for the playoffs. That's what the Bills need to get back to along with a lot of other teams. So forth and so forth. So the Bills would definitely draft somebody. It just depends on who. I don't think it would be Lamar Jackson, but like I said before, you have too many talented quarterbacks in this draft for you know, them not to choose somebody. And a team like, again, the Jaguars, even though they just signed, I guess, slash, we just signed him to a three-year extension, Again, I would be very somewhat, somewhat, quote me on that, somewhat shocked if the Jaguars did not draft somebody to compete with him. As I said before, too many talented quarterbacks in this draft for us not to draft somebody to compete with him and make him earn every dime within that contract. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Simple, simple as that. And like I said, so definitely, I can definitely tell you the Browns, in my best opinion, they should draft the most surefire pick. Again, because of all the quarterbacks in this year's draft, the surefire number one pick should be a running back. Or even a, I want to say a guard, but who am I kidding? They're not going to guard, draft the guard number one overall. It definitely should be either a quarterback or a running back in Saquon Barkley. 
I would definitely rather get Saquon Barkley because I'm telling you, if you don't get Saquon Barkley, I don't think the Sa- Saquon is falling out of the top five. I believe he definitely has too much talent to be falling out of the top five. If you were to ask me, same same thing with Sam Darnold, same thing with Josh Rosen, same thing with Josh Allen. Too much talent to be falling out of the top five or too much talent to be falling out of the top ten or twenty. But again, you've got to play these these cards very, very wisely considering you only have two picks. So you got to play these cards very, very wisely. But I can assure you, Saquon will not be there for them number four if they don't take him number one. This is almost like last year with Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett was not going to be their number 12. Like, if the if Browns hadn't gotten Saquon, not Saquon, if Browns hadn't gotten Miles Garrett, like, I applaud them for, for, for getting him there. But it, it was the same It was the same thing last year. If they hadn't got, got Miles Garrett number one, San Fran would have got him number one. Excuse me. But think about it. Think about it. If they hadn't... Excuse me. But think about it. If they hadn't... that, If you ask me, that's what would have happened. If if they hadn't got Miles Garrett last year, number one, the 49ers would have gotten number one. So forth and so forth. That's just... Like, I'm, Trubisky would have not... Trubisky would have not fallen out of the top ten. I can assure you that. He would not have fallen out of the top ten. But I can assure you he probably wouldn't have gone number two. If the, you know, if, um, yeah, if the, um, sorry, excuse me, trying to get everything, everything I'm trying to say in order right here before I confuse myself and confuse you, the viewers. But if Miles Garrett had not been taken, Miles Garrett would have got selected number two. If, um, and obviously, you know, if, um, obviously, yeah, Mitchell Trubisky's obviously got picked up by the, drafted by the, um, Bears, but the Bears hadn't drafted him. Trust me, I do believe so that Mitchell Trubisky would have got drafted somewhere within the top ten. He wasn't going to fall out of the top five or the top ten. I can assure you that much. But um, and no offense to Mr. Deshaun Kaiser, but again, I do believe Deshaun Kaiser should know by now. My job is not secure. It was never secure because I didn't get us out of the top five when it comes to you know, or at least or the top ten when it came to winning games last year. You know, he should know that his job is not at all secure. That they're gonna draft somebody top, they you know top five. You know they're gonna you know to compete with him. I'm not gonna say as his replacement, just to compete with him. But usually, when you draft a guy for first round, and knowing Deshaun Kaiser was a second round pick, you know I wouldn't say they're gonna give give up on Kaiser. He's definitely gonna probably stay stay there as their stay 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 there as a backup if. Whoever they pick beats them out, but I'm pretty sure whoever they pick has is gonna have a good chance of beating them out. Not to say I, I hope it's a good good quarterback competition, but again, Deshaun Kaiser, you got a lot of work to do, brother. A lot of work to do. And again, you gotta realize the Browns also have Kevin Hogan still on the roster. Look him up, Kevin Hogan, American football player. He played for Stanford, and they also have Cody Kessler, the quarterback that they drafted in 2016 draft. I don't know if I'm not mistaken. 2016 draft out of um, USC. So you got to realize that they were to pick Sam Darnold. That's two bat to back of USC. Well, not two bat to back, but that is two USC quarterbacks in your roster. Very young quarterbacks, by the way. And like I said before, they the Browns have to make this, this this decision very, very soon, very, very closely. You know, I do believe that Sean Kaiser has a lot of potential, but he might need to move to a different team to maximize that potential. But then you also got to realize who's who who's going to take him, and if you ask me, nobody's going to take the Sean Kyler. Nobody's going to take him. But I could be wrong. Hope to God I'm wrong about that. But definitely, I wish the Sean Kyler the absolute best at proving he still belongs to be, you know, there in Cleveland. And whoever they draft number one or four at the quarterback position, I hope to God that they own their stuff too. But again, this quarterback, this draft is packed with too many quarterbacks for you know people to think they had to take one in the top five or they had to take one. You know, in the first round, a lot of these quarterbacks, a lot of the heavyweights, or a lot of the undercover prodigy quarterbacks, they're going to be drafted in the second, third, fourth, fifth round. They're going to be drafted, you know, not in the first round. Mm-hmm. And you have to, if you ask me, pay very much close attention to that. Too many quarterbacks, ladies and gentlemen, too many quarterbacks. And you have to pay very much close attention to the fact being that 
not all not all of them are going to be drafted in the first round, so you have to be very much more strategic with who you're picking. You know, I mean, you can, I mean, with this draft, you can afford to pick way more than one if you wanted to. But at least for a team like the Cleveland Browns, they need to get this, like, they need to figure out what they're going to do with Kessler and Hogan. Regardless of who they draft, you know, this this year, they need to figure out what they're going to do with Kessler and Hogan. I don't picture them cutting Hogan, I mean, not cutting him, cutting Kessler. I picture them trading Kessler, cutting Hogan, and then picking up two more quarterbacks to battle it out with um, Cody Kessler. I mean, not C C Cody Kessler, with uh, Deshaun Kaiser. That's what I see happening. But again, we will definitely see how things go in due time. So 10 minutes into this video, guys. Um, as well, the Colts is a team that I can tell you that Saquon falls to them at number three, I believe. So you can ensure that Saquon is, you know, he's going to be there. I mean, if he, well, I mean, if... If he if if the Giants don't pick him and the Browns don't pick don't pick him, I can guarantee you that he's gonna own it. Saquon is gonna get picked by them and he's gonna tear he's gonna tear up the place. He's gonna own it. A team like the Dolphins, Dolphins fans. If you ask me personally, if you ask me, that y'all need a quarterback. Y'all need someone to be in there to compete with Ryan Tannehill. I'm not gonna say when he was healthy he wasn't a good quarterback. He was a good quarterback, but again you have to make that. You know, decision is this guy gonna get us anywhere near the playoffs, and then will he get us anywhere deep into the playoffs? It's one thing to make it, another thing to actually get somewhere in it. You trust me, no offense to Andy Dalton fans, but you don't want to be a you know, a team that has an Andy Dalton that can't get them past the first round. You know, you just don't. I'm saying, look what Andrew Luck did, he got him to the playoffs the first three years, all three years. And pretty much every year, if I'm not mistaken, every year he got closer and closer. You know, third year he ended up going to the conference championship. Lost, but still, you know, got to the conference championship. That's what you need in your quarterback. You need a quarterback that can get you to the conference championship, really. Deep into the playoffs each year. I'm not saying Super Bowl appearance each year, but definitely can get you excited for a playoff run each and every year. Not just a guy who can get you okay regular season numbers and maybe the playoffs just to lose in a wild card year after year after year. Or go to wild card, win that, and lose in division round year after year. You need you know, you need some stability, some real stability at that position. A guy that you can undoubtedly have faith in and believe in that he's gonna carry us to he's gonna do his his job, his part on the team to, you know, get to help get you all to a consistent, you know, consistent playoff run each and every year. So forth and so forth. So I'm don't know again, don't know who all is picking in this draft. I should look up the draft order, but this video is 13 minutes long, so it's going to end in a few minutes. So I'm not going to look up the draft order now. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is literally how it goes. Sam Darnold is either, like, I really don't think they need to draft one first overall, but I would say it's either definitely going to be Sam Darnold, Josh Rose, Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold or Josh Rosen. If they draft a quarterback, it's either going to be, uh, or even Baker Mayfield. Don't even discount Baker Mayfield. Don't even dare discount Baker Mayfield. It's going to be one of those three, or it's going to be Saquon Barkley. They, but they have to love one of those, one of those quarterbacks so much. I can assure you that I definitely see that if they don't pick, if they don't pick, I can definitely see that. I can definitely see Baker Mayfield being there for them at number four. I can definitely see that happening. You know, I don't see Josh Rosen or Sam Darnold being there for them at four because I'm pretty sure Giants will pick one of those quarterbacks if the um, Browns don't. And, of course, all Indianapolis needs, like I said before, either get yourself a running back or get yourself, again, more offensive linemen to perfect, sorry, protect Andrew Luck. Because, again, Jacoby Brissett got beat up last season behind that offensive line. He got beat up last season behind that offensive line. So, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, watching, and subscribing to my takes. Thank you for listening, watching, and subscribing to my takes on everything. And, again, more of this coming soon. Thank you. And I'll do more videos, yeah, on the rest of the draft order, who I believe they should take. So, God bless. Love y'all.
no knowing where they're knowing where it landed this 